This is my Und step sequencer. It contains some modifications from the original design provided by Adafruit. It uses four rotary encoders with push button switches for additional input. It also has a MIDI sound card and a speaker in the unit. It could also fit in a battery if you wanted to. You can use it to play music. By pressing the buttons. You can rotate button one to move the notes up and down so you can get access to more notes. But it doesn't change the actual pitch of the note, it just moves it up and down. scroll them off the top or the bottom, they will disappear, however. Defaults to the middle of the scale, and if you press button 1, the top one, you can change the scale. So. Now it's doing minor scales. And if you select the same scale again, it toggles between individual notes and held notes. You can see what scale it is by counting from left and right to up and left to right and down. So if you push the button, this is scale number two. You can select a scale down here. If you press button one again, you can change what MIDI channel it is. So you press it once to get the scale, and you press it again to get the, the MIDI channel. If you press it three times, it just goes back to the normal setting. So this is MIDI channel 2, and I can change it to MIDI channel 3. Currently that doesn't really change much because this instruments are the same on all the channels. you hold button one down, it will erase everything in volatile memory. And you can start over. Button two, if you rotate it, will change the speed. defaults to 240 beats per minute. If you press button 2, you get what's called a layer change. This is showing layer number 1, and you can switch to layer number 2, and layer number 2 will play the same time as layer number 1. So you can layer music together and make a music piece. If you press button 2 twice, you can switch to a different grid set. There are 8 layers in a grid set, and there are a total of 8 grid sets available, which are kind of like blank slates that you can play different music on. You press it three times, it just goes back to normal without selecting a grid set or a layer set. If you press button or rotate button three, it scrolls left and right. So you can have more than 
eight notes on a uh, layer. If you scroll, it does not erase what you selected. Unlike when you scroll up and down. You can have up to 16 notes in a layer. You press it, button 3 once, you can select which which instrument you want to have play. If you press it twice, you can select the second set of 64 instruments. So you can have a total of 120 instruments that are available on your sound card. We all default to instrument one. But typically MIDI channel 9 overrides the instrument setting and will play the drum instruments instead. If you rotate button 4, you can change the volume. And all grid sets have the same volume. Press button 4 and you can select how many beats there are on the layer. Currently there's 16, counting left to right and down, but you could have just 8, and then it wraps around at only 8, and the scrolling left and right doesn't scroll anywhere. You can have up to 16, If you want to store everything you have currently played, you can hold down button 4 and it will store everything in memory to non-volatile memory. You have just enough memory to store everything in all layers and all grid sets in all settings. Finally, there is the performance layer, which is layer Eight, and it's special in that it allows you to play along with your piece like you would a piano. Each row is a scale like on a piano. And the lights will light up that are playing on the other layers. You can switch to another layer by pushing the farthest most button. And this is layer three. This layer, or layer three, and this is layer two and layer one. And it'll play the current layer before it starts the next layer. That's all. Thanks for watching.